everyone welcome in crochet life and stuff with Deborah with the Saturday vloggy thing <sighs> so much going on this week and yet so little if you know what I mean um, starting off with the life and stuff as I usually do I finally filed my taxes last night so stressful so stressful 12 hour work day and then several hours in front of the computer going mm -hmm, filing my taxes but that's done it's finally done and I'm actually going to get a refund. Yay. No extra tax burden this year, despite all the overtime, right? So that's finally a thing. If you're in the U.S., you know exactly what I mean. I tried to get it done earlier than this. I just haven't taken the time because it's always such a looming, stressful thing, you know? And actually, the hubby was funny last night. He was like trying to be nice and helpful. And I'm like, ar, 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 ar. you know, yeah, I was, I was kind of mean and snippy snippy I mean I probably just needed food but maybe not because he did bring home tacos yeah tacos from Los Gomez it is a little um Mexican owned store in Livonia it's like a little grocery store and a little taqueria at the same time and they have awesome tacos and I think they were gonna have tamales this morning but we had to get there before they ran out. And by this morning, I mean before now, because I'm recording this afternoon. Yeah, I slept. I slept. Um, right, I'm not working today. Yes, that is a big difference for a Saturday for me. Um, there was some system maintenance and none of us were allowed to work any overtime on Saturday. So it was like, yay, a day off. And then when I see my paycheck, it's going to be, oh, bummer. Yeah, I already know that, but... I'm going to take advantage of the day off. And I did. Normally on a Saturday, I'm up uh, by 5 to be at work at 6. I work from home, so it's not like I have to, you know, travel the roads or anything. But uh, <laughs> I slept until 9.30 this morning. And then I just didn't get out of bed. I was laying there just playing with my phone and just being like, you know, I really should get up and accomplish something. But I'm tired. So I chilled, got up, washed my hair, did the whole mask thing and just, you know, put on this really cool face mask that I took off in the shower afterwards. I don't like sheet masks. I don't like the way they feel. But this one is one that I got at the Dollar Tree a while ago, or maybe it's a dollar twenty-five tree, whatever, Dollar Tree, when it was still a dollar. And it's a gold face mask, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's so pretty. I don't know that it does anything. But it's so stinking pretty. It's like glittery. It's like a very, the fine, yeah, you're putting glitter on. I mean, that, that's pretty much it. Then you wash it off and, oh, I feel so pretty. Mm, whatever. But I did that. I mean, I just, you know, took my time washing my hair. Just really, it's still wet, you know? So, yeah, it takes a while to dry. But that has been my morning. This is the first thing I'm actually accomplishing today, aside from a little self-care, you know, by washing the hair and all of that. Still haven't redone my nails. Eh, what kind of girl am I, right? But elsewhere in life, got another warning light popping up on the car. Ugh. Hubby took it down to have it read by the AutoZone people because they, they, they'll read it for free. And it turns out it's an alert about one of the two catalytic converters. Girl, no, no. So he took it down to our mechanic uh, the next day, you know, who will actually read it and stuff. And that was an area that, that he had been in, the mechanic, he had to do some soldering up in that area where the first catalytic converter is, up near the manifold, because we had, the car is very low and we live on a dirt gravel rutted road and our driveways even worse and things get bumped yeah so he had taken care of that and now we could throw this error but no there was no performance issue there it sounded right you know so whatever took it down there read it and he said look he said it doesn't make any sense to take care of it right now watch it if it starts to have a, a hit on your gas mileage then it's time to do something about it we're like okay so we can wait a while on that. Thankfully, because of the part, the part alone before markup by any place that does the work, you know, is over $600. What? Okay, 
for reference, I drive a 2008 Altima, okay? It's paid off. I don't like having a car payment, but when you start having to buy parts that are that much and get work done that's going to be a grand at a time, um, a car payment looks better, okay? But when I get a car again, I want it to be an electric car, quite honestly. I want an EV, um, but the prices are just so outrageous right now. And no, I'll never be in Tesla territory. Those are very expensive. Love a Tesla, but not going to be there. Um, Kia and Hyundai put out some really good EVs. And Volkswagen is coming out with some that are pretty awesome. So, yeah. It's going to be wait and see time. Can't even look at a used one right now because used ones are outrageous. Have you looked at the used market for vehicles right now? It's stupid. Stupid. So, we just hang out, take care of the car as best we can. I drive things basically till the wheels fall off. My last car that I had before this one, I bought it at 12,000 miles on the car. It was a Ford Escort ZX2. It was a 98. And I bought it in 99. And like two weeks after I bought it, I met the hubby. So, I consider that a good thing, you know. And... Let me tell you, I drove the absolute piss out of that car. Yeah, that's probably a bad word on YouTube. Whatever. But I did. And when we finally retired it, it had like 260 or 270,000 miles on it that I put mostly on myself. Um, I used to drive. I had a long commute. But not only that, I drove that car hard. You think... A Ford Escort, how can you drive that car hard? It's just an econo box, blah, blah, blah. No, it's a five speed, okay? New, 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 manual shift. And your girl knew how to get some performance out of it. It only had like 140 horsepower, but in a car that light and that small, that's all you needed. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun driving that car. I got a lot of tickets driving that car. So that car. I went three years without air conditioning in Georgia. Yeah, I know. Because there was something wrong with one of the computer bits in it. And you can't just pick that up at the junkyard and fix it. Because it probably has the same problem yours does. So I just left that. Um, hit deer with that car. By the end, the hood was a slightly different color. Because we had gotten one from the junkyard. And yeah, I had... <laughs> I had adventures in that vehicle. Yes, I did. So yeah, we finally retired that and I got this one. And when I bought this one, it had over 150,000 miles on it already. Uh, but it was a really good deal. And it's a nice running car. It's it's a little bit lower than I would like. It rides lower. And around here, that's just not very good. Um, but it's been a while. A lot of miles have gotten put on it. It's it's over 250 or 260 now, 260,000. And we just got to be careful now. Just hold now. Hold now cuz I want an EV. I want an EV. Y'all, you heard it here first. On a crochet channel, I want an EV. All right then. But it is crochet life and stuff. And that's pretty much <laughs> the life and stuff that's happened this week, although I said, "Yes, yesterday the hubby did bring me tacos." from that awesome little taqueria when he got the car checked out because it's literally right next door. Um, <laughs> Los those Gomez and the, the mechanics place that we go to right next to each other. So if he goes there, he's probably going to Los Gomez as long as they're open and they're open till like seven most nights. <sighs> yes. Love me some good tacos, good authentic tacos. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, to, wait, there's more life and stuff. I almost forgot. FedEx dropped off this box the other night. And it was late, y'all. It was already dark. And I'm like, there's a truck coming up our driveway. And then there's a truck leaving. And, and I heard a little beep. So I figured, okay, it must be a delivery person. But I couldn't think of what in the world that it might be. Because I had already gotten my delivery of my meds from, if we have to order from Express Scripts because insurance, whatever. Um, so that was here, and I was like, what is this? What? I couldn't tell who it was from. It was from somebody in California that didn't make any sense, and I'm like, what is this? And it's addressed to me. 
So I opened it up. There's no notes in here, y'all. None. It's a good thing that it finally triggered my memory. I enter giveaways on Instagram all the time. If you follow me on Insta and it's like, if you want to be tagged in giveaways, like I say, you know, tag a friend or tag somebody. I do that. I try to tag everybody I can think of. I enter giveaways from Blick Art Supplies all the time because they're always giving, giving, doing giveaways. And this is stuff I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. I'm going to have to look it up and, and see exactly what to do with this stuff. Toss that over there. These are Posca Metallic. They're like some kind of art pen, paint pen. Oh, there's a Posca sticker in there. Yay. Hang on, I'll show you in a second. Mitsubishi Pencil Company Limited. <laughs> Mitsubishi's into everything. It's only in the U.S. that car companies are like just car companies. Like Mitsubishi does everything. But anyhow, these are some big, nice looking things. I'm going to have to look up what to do with them. When I saw it on the video, when I entered, I thought that was cool. And now I don't remember what it was. But you shake them, apparently. And this one is a white one of whatever it is. And some other little thing. So, y'all, what am I going to do with all these? Whatever it is, it's a 15 millimeter tip. I think there's some kind of markers. That's right. They must be. Hang on. I, I can't. I can't not. Of course, I can't get. Never mind. It's Deborah proof packaging. It'll take scissors. And I just don't feel like one with it. There'll be a video about it at some point later. Also, other videos are going to be coming up later. Um, there will be a giveaway coming up soon. If you watched a previous haul video, you uh, heard about that. So make sure you watch the haul video, just in case you forgot. Um, also, my birthday is in June. And I have decided that I'm going to have some kind of a giveaway thing for my birthday. Don't know what yet, but I do know that there will be some awesome stuff. So, you know, stick around for that. June. I'll be 52. I'm not afraid of an age number. I'm just like, how did, I, how did this happen? <laughs> I get so old. Anyway, all right, crochet. I do have one, count it, one finished object this week. This was from Lisa Ladybird Love's uh, Crochet Along. And it's hard to show right here because it got so big. This was the mystery crochet along, her mystery cow. We had five weeks of it. And... Okay, just so you can see what that yarn looks like. I will have a picture at the end of this laid out on a dark bedspread so you can actually see the stitches in it and you can see what it looks like with all of those little details. It was a fun crochet along and it was a nice short one. It was only five weeks and yeah, Lisa, despite what she thinks, did an awesome job. It was so much fun. I had to watch it like while working, like watch it while working and kind of try to take notes and then do it later or watch the replay, which I had to do a few times, but I am pleased. I am pleased. This is yarn that I purchased like a year ago that I had no idea what I was going to do with. And it turned out the perfect project for it came right up. So yes, look for that picture at the end. Oh, also a picture at the end. There will be a plants progress picture because, uh, I got some plants, y'all. They're growing. Ah! Okay. More crochet. <laughs> I do have one that I am working on diligently now because I realize that it's March and this is the month that Rose from Rose Likes Crochet has her, in, in her um, donations for wings is going to be very lightweight shawls. And I realize this is going to take me a while. This is a shawl in progress. And yes, it's, it's a, I'll show you the yarn here in a second. It changes colors on its own. Last night, though, I just kind of ran out of steam and had to go to sleep. There's no way I could have crocheted anymore, even that little bit. So stitch markers, other stitch markers are showing where I have uh, increases. So just so I can keep up with it myself. That's all that is. But uh, yeah, so far, this is a shawl for a Barbie. Actually, no, I think we're up to 14 inch doll shawl at this point. I'll get there. We're going to try to make it big enough for an actual person. Let me show you the yarn. What I am using is, oh gosh, I have 
stuff everywhere. This is the actual one I'm working from. It's Red Heart It's a Wrap. Look at the colors in that red and purple and blue and everything. It is a fine two weight. Uh, it says a 2.75 millimeter hook. That's not what I'm using. I'm using a 4.5. It's 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. It's 150 grams or 570 meters. I do have two of these in case I need to, you know, go big or go home. I mean, I like being home, but you know, the saying or whatever. This isn't bad to work with, but it is a little splitty. You might even be able to tell just from looking at that. Cause it's like, it's almost stranded. It's not very twisted, but using the bigger hook helps and being awake when you're crocheting also helps. Pro tip there. Personal experience y'all, personal experience. Whoa, I'm gonna put that down over here so I don't drop it on the floor. Next whip is one that I didn't even stick a stitch marker in. I was so tired when I was working on it the other night. That's awful. Uh, it's a corner to corner. This is for Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. Okay, it's a hashtag rock 2022 AU. And this album, she's putting out um, two, well, she's not putting out albums, obviously. She's, an album gets chosen and we get to look at it and be inspired by the cover or inspired by the album or however we decide to do it. And we're making our own projects. There is no set thing. Mine is going to end up being all joined as like a stained glass blanket kind of dealy. I have not finished from the one that came out on the 15th yet. Wait, what is today? I have not finished from the one that came out on the first yet. Sorry. Yeah, I'm behind because I usually get it done in like two days. Um, the album cover, this is from Janis Joplin and I forget the album name. I think it's just her uh, eponymous name. But uh, this is grays and blacks that will be red around it. I'm going to do things a little differently than just corner to corner because that's what the album cover looks like. It's grays and blacks. Notice my square is a little bit smaller than my other squares because I'm going around it just like the album cover has, but it'll still be different than the album cover, obviously. I've seen some awesome projects already put up by people that have done it for this month. And I'm like, oh man, I gotta get mine done. Gotta get it done. Maybe today. Maybe today I will have time to crochet since I'm not working. Maybe not, we'll see. <laughs> no guarantees. Okay, finally my whip is my temperature blanket. This I showed you last week. Okay, this is the top, this is the front. Okay, 19 squares across and it's gonna be 20 squares long and there will be a border afterwards. The inner color is my low temperature, the outer color the high temperature. The numbers, as wonky as they are, this is 22 for the year. This is one for January. That's how I'm doing. Each month has its own little wonky number. There's a two. You can see down there. Now let me show you the current one that I'm working on. And yes, at the end of every 19 stretch, I'm joining them. Um, you know, I'm put, hooking it together. I don't want to have a bunch of stuff to join at the end. The worst I'll have to do at the end is the border and that's it. This is uh, into March. And look at that. You can tell we had some warm, some warm, a little cooler and uh, Right now outside, it's like 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, Celsius, oh, I don't remember. I think that's like six or seven degrees Celsius, maybe. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It, it got cool. It's very, very windy. I bet we'll have some trees down in the woods. Yeah, because I'm out in the middle of the woods. So that is a thing. I keep that tucked in this little bag while I'm working on the strip and then I join it together with this one. And it's just so fun to see it growing. And even the hubby has been like looking at it every day and he'll even ask me sometimes, did you get your square done? Because I try to do it at lunchtime and sometimes I'm done before he can see it. So I just think they're kind of cute little small squares. I'm doing my with DK weight yarn so that it's not enormous, you know, because I've seen some temperature projects get so huge that they're just unruly and hard to deal with. These are little, little bitty, joined in white purposely so you can see that join because I want to see it and that's just the aesthetic I was going for. Because, you know, you do you, boo, right? All right, that is that one. Am I missing anything? Probably um, stay tuned for the photos at the end and, um, 
be sure to come back soon because there's going to be giveaways. Okay. Um, we're going to be doing some flip throughs. We're going to have tea. We're going to eat some snacks. Yes, plenty of snacks, y'all. <laughs> going to be doing some pepper powder tastings. Mm-hmm. And yes, I think the next few are probably going to burn my face off, but you know, we'll do what we got to do, right? And uh, more crochet. Yes, I'm going to try to do more crochet. Ha! Ah! <laughs> I'll see you next week for the vloggy thing as well. Thank you for coming by. If you're sticking around this long, I'd appreciate it if you'd give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave me a comment down below. What do you think of my plants that I'm showing at the end? Uh, what do you think about my crazy life and all the work? Oh my gosh, I can see myself in my phone here. Wow, I have gotten so gray. I want my purple hair back. Eh. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>